What's good YouTube? So in today's video, we're going to be talking about rapper Quavo finally making a public post as it relates to Takeoff. Cardi B also made a post on her Instagram page as it relates to Takeoff. The only person who hasn't made a public post as it relates to Takeoff is Offset, right? And y'all know we got to give him time. We even seen a footage where he was breaking down at Takeoff's funeral. You get what I'm saying, guys? So I'm going to be showing y'all what's going on as it relates to all of that. But before I go any further in this video, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so click the notification bell put it on all that way you can get notified whenever i post a new video and with that being said guys let's get to the post that um quavo actually made on his instagram page right so he basically made a post showing like a whole bunch of baby photos with him and take off y'all can see them on the screen and stuff right and he basically posted up like a whole bunch of emojis like a rocket a heartbroken emoji a dove and stuff like that so you know he's letting y'all know that he's still heartbroken which i know he's still heartbroken and you know this is something that he may never heal from i don't really know but that wasn't the only post that he actually made he definitely wrote something that was very touching to take off right guys so it started off by saying dear take it's so hard to tell you i'ma miss you because you're always with me and we did everything together since we were kids you have been by my side looking up at me them eyes waiting on me to make the next move then you followed up right behind me you always made sure i did it first so you can do it right with me you never competed with me you were always on the same team you hated playing against me because I was always playing too hard or too rough. Then I can hear my mama say, son, too, not too rough because I didn't like to lose. Remember, our first dream was to be tag team partners in WWE. We fell in love with WWF wrestling. Man, we had every action figure. Thought we was going to be pro wrestlers because the way he imitated all the wrestlers so good. And if you know take his imitation skills are the t he could imitate anybody just ask danny and p super quiet though quietest in the room but paid attention to everything going on in the room always been like that nothing ever really bothered take and he didn't bother anybody he was the most unbothered person in the world he never got mad he never raised his voice and when he did he silenced the room because what take said was law and he wasn't changing his mind for now not even unk could you, you you just gotta let him cool off for about 30 minutes but by far the funniest person in the room once you get him going he wouldn't stop and last but not least he took time with everything we called it the takeoff time whenever we would be running late to the shows he would always say god will get us there on time some shows god did some shows we were late point is he trusted god though throughout his whole time he had a real passion for music it was his dream to become a rapper cause i didn't know what i wanted to do i tried everything all sports after every game i would come home and he would just sit there playing the game with the controllers in his hand looking and look at my face he could tell we lost another game so sports wasn't his thing cause he saw me lose all the time this is how i knew he was gonna be a rapper growing up he knew every song of the hot boys album every lyric word, word for word and he was cursing up a storm mama heard him rapping took the cd and said that music was too grown for us until we won the boys and girls talent club together performing get your roll on big timers it was all good then so it's safe to say we had something going then it it came easy for us when it came to style and swag we were always looking like somebody cause our mama dressed us up like rappers or grown men as you can see in the pictures our clothes were huge but we had the look then he created it, this triplet flow and the rest was history he never worried about titles credit or what man got the most shine that wasn't him he didn't care about none of that as long as we brought it back home to the family the whole time i've been trying to figure out what you really are to me because nephew wasn't it we hated that word nephew or when they said unk and few because we always knew we were way closer than that and it made me feel old too but i knew you weren't my brother because you are my sister's son so i couldn't say brother now i finally got it you are our angel 
watching me and watching us this whole time in living farm making sure everyone felt our love and hugs while you're here and you made our dreams come true whenever you spoke it it manifested when you said god gonna do it he did it i'm just proud to be in your life i'm proud to be your uncle i'm proud we saw the world and done things we couldn't even imagine together we laughed way more than we argued and when we did i always was in the wrong every time i guess mama made that rule too I'm proud to say I've seen your blessings, I've seen you bless me, you bless Mama, you bless Shara, you bless Treat, Heaven and Zeke. You will come to send your blessing down from heaven and I will continue to keep your name alive as long as I live. It's always my responsibility to look after my nephews and nieces. I will do that before making moves or any decision we gonna always say. What would take think? Always been ain't nothing gonna change me and you knew we gonna always be with each other for life and just like that we gonna see each other again i love you with all my heart i'll never leave you i guess god just ain't need my help so you can ask him for me what i gotta do to be with you again in a place where there's no pain no demons no jealousy no envy no greed whatever we have to do got to be at that place of paradise send us the tools now because we want to lay with take love you nephew wow guys that was definitely you know super touching wow um y'all can let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section all right and we're gonna move on to what cardi b has to say about takeoff in an instagram post right so she basically said take off your untimely passing has brought a great deal of pain and sorrow to so many lives the impact you had in this world was so considerable and we have struggled to grasp this tragedy i am heartbroken but i am grateful for all your precious memories we got to share with you while you were here with us this has truly been a nightmare and the pain is incomparable the emptiness your brothers are feeling is unbearable and i pray that you give offset quavo and your friends and family the strength to keep going as they are trying to cope with this loss i believe that angels send signs and beautiful dreams to loved ones to assure them that they are watching them and they're okay and happy send your mom of those prayers as of migos fan it's hurt me to look at pictures and videos of y'all together and hearing y'all song that changed the music industry and moved the culture and had the clubs lit it hurts because i know it will never be the same again but i know your bros and fans will make sure the world never forgets the impact you made i remember your remarkable talent and your dope ass personality i pray that you are at peace and in paradise because you deserve every bit of it i know god opened the heavenly gates for you with a warm embrace rest in power take off um i will also love you for life and after all right guys so you know you know this is definitely um a very very sad situation right and um yesterday like i said was the funeral for takeoff so i'm going to show y'all two clips one with quavo speaking and one with offset speaking um you know very sad situation so check this out guys you are always with me and we did everything together since we was kids you've been by my side looking up at me with them eyes same eyes you got as your my sister waiting on me to make the next move then you followed up right behind me you always made sure I did it first so you can do it right with me. You never competed with me. We was always on the same team because you hated playing against me because I always played too hard or too rough. And I can hear mama saying, not too rough, son, because I ain't like to lose. Remember our first dream was to be tag team partners in the WWE. We fell in love with WWE wrestling. We had every. Change the culture of music forever. You did that, Tate. You changed that flow. That flow came from Tate, the originator. The originator of that flow. He changed the music. Business. Lord, give us the strength, 
Just give me some, give us some strength, the family, everybody, give us some strength. I don't want to question you, God, but I just don't, I don't get it. I don't get you sometimes. And I believe in you, Father, but So let me know what y'all think in the comment section and I'm just going to leave it right here. So thank you all for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. Put the notification bell on all that way you can get notified whenever I post a new video. And I will see you all in the next video. Stay safe. Peace.